Hi, I'm Gary the Water Guy, and I own the Water Filter East Store and the Water Store in Midland, Ontario. Today we're calculating the flow rate coming from your well pump. Why would you need that? Well, there might be a number of reasons. Um, years gone by when we used to install these MAZI type systems, we needed to know if there was enough flow rate coming from the, the well pump to, to make sure that they draw air but there's other applications too. So the first step in doing the whole thing is if you do have a Mazzy like this, you need to bypass it. So you need to open it up totally. So we'll do that. Uh, the next step is you need some kind of a measuring device. I use this as a five gallon pail. As you can see, I've used this for years. It's a little bit beat up and I use a hose. So where you can attach the hoses to the bottom of the, the pressure tank, there's a spigot like this one here. So what we can do is we can attach this down here, like so, and we're going to use that when we measure the water. So the first step is we actually have to run water somewhere in the house to turn on the well pump. And uh, so one way that we can do that is we can run the water treatment equipment. Pushing the regen button and holding it down until it starts to regenerate will start the water flowing. And then what we're going to do, we're going to listen for when the, the, the switch clicks here to turn, on the, um, to turn on the well. Once it clicks, we're going to turn off the water flow and we're going to time how long it takes before it shuts back off again. So I'm going to use my watch to time it. So we can see the pressure gauge dropping and uh, it should come on any second now may take a while depending on where it is within its cycle, but um, okay, so it just clicked on. I've set my uh, stopwatch on. Once the water has flowed long enough to, to click on the, the switch to turn the pump back on, then we can temporarily stop, stop the flow by putting the uh, iron filter into bypass while we're doing our timing. So now we're going to time how long it takes for to refill. So this is a, a relatively large uh, pressure tank. So it, uh, yours might be smaller, it might be larger. So we're at 25 seconds now. And again, we're waiting to hear the, the switch click in here to shut off the pump. And that's when we'll stop timing. Okay, so that took uh, 43 seconds. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna, we need to make sure that there's no water being run in the home right now because that would throw off our calculation. So now what we need to know, do is we need to run water from the, the bottom of the pressure tank here into a, into a container like this because we need to measure how many gallons it's gonna take to turn the pump back on again. water into here and we've got some iron in this water we can see how brown it is but again this is before the water treatment equipment and there's definitely sulfur in this water too so we can smell the sulfur so it may take more than one container so make sure you're ready to uh, turn off the water And again, we need to make sure that there's no water being used in the home while, while we're doing this. And now we need to dump out this jug and continue to fill. So we've dumped out the first jug, so now we're gonna fill the second one. So the first one was five gallons, and uh, we'll see if we get this one right to the end. So again, we're waiting to hear if the clunk, when the, the pump clicks back on. We'll hear a click from the switch. And there we go right there. So it's shut off. Okay, so we have here, um, the full container is five gallons and we have about a gallon less than that. So the first uh, uh, full container was five gallons and this one's four, so that's nine gallons. So we're getting nine gallons in 45 seconds. So um, we need to do the calculation. So we got nine gallons in uh, 43 seconds. So if you take 43 and you divide it by, 40, uh, by 60 to convert it into minutes, so it's 0.717 minutes. 
and the gallons is 9. So you take 9 and you divide it by 0.717 minutes and it works out to 12 and a half gallons. So that's the flow rate we're getting from our pump here, 12, 12 and a half gallons per minute, which is a great flow rate, which is very compatible with a Mazzy or a number of other uses. And uh, most homeowners or cottage owners would be very happy with that flow rate. And that's it. If you like what you saw today, please click the subscribe button. That way you'll be notified about all the new videos they become available on our channel. If you'd like some more information, um, you can go to our website at uh, www.thewaterstoremidland.com or www.thewaterfilterestore.com. And again, I'm Gary the Water Guy from the Water Store in Midland, Ontario. Thanks for watching.